Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the eighth tutorial in this course. And in this tutorial, we are going to continue our discussion on strings and check out a few more string functions. So I've got a file opened up here in my text editor. It's called string2.php. And in this file on line number six, I have the opening PHP tag. On line number 17, I have the closing PHP tag. And on line number seven, I have uh, created a string variable called MSG, short form for message. And uh, in that variable, I have saved a text, have a nice day and uh, there is an exclamation mark at the end right and uh, then on line number eight i have an echo statement in which i'm just uh, echoing out the contents of the variable msg i have echoed out a break tag on line number nine and then on line number 10 i have used a function called strlen which is short form for string length and what this function does is it takes in as an argument a string value and if you have your string content in a variable then you can just pass in the variable by typing in its name within parentheses and it returns to you the number of characters in the string so let's calculate the number of ca characters in the string let's count them out so h is 1 a is 2 v is 3 e is 4 space 5 a is 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so there are 16 characters in the string i'll save this file and i'll open it up in my browser and the name of the file is string2 so i'll request for that and there we go we first see the string which is have a nice day and then we see 16 here and uh, if suppose i get in a space here save the file and refresh now i'll see 17 because you know i've added a space so that takes the count to 17 characters the next function that i've used is on line number 12 it's called str underscore replace and what this function does is it uh, you know takes in three arguments the first argument is uh, you know uh, the string that you want to replace from the original string the second argument is what you want to replace it with and the third argument is the string from which you want this string to be replaced right so this is the source string this is the part of the source string and this is the you know string you want to replace this with so let's say in this string I want to replace nice with great what I have to do is as the third argument I have to pass in the variable msg as the first argument I have to pass in nice within double quotes and this you know this is a string parameter and uh, as the second argument I have to pass in grade and this too has to be a string value right so uh, the output shows that we get have a great day instead of have a nice day right the next function that we're going to check out is str underscore repeat and this function simply repeats a string uh, given number of times so let's say you want to see this string repeated three times you know what you have to do is you have to pass in the name of the variable containing the string as the first argument and number of times you want the string to be repeated as the second argument so I want to see it three times I'll type in three as a second argument and uh, in the output we see have a nice day have a nice day have a nice day thrice right and the last function that we have uh, you know used in this file is sub str or sub string function and this function returns to you a part of the original string so again this one accepts three arguments and uh, the first argument is the original string or the you know variable containing the original string so uh, msg is passed in as the first argument the second argument is the index position of the character from which you want the string to be segmented so let's say you want to see this part a nice day so what you have to do is you have to find out the index position of the alphabet a in the string so as we know the index position of the first character in any string is zero so h has zero a has one v has two e has three space has the index position four and a has the index position five so to get a nice day you'll have to pass in five as the second argument and the last argument 16 is the number of characters that you want to see after the uh, alphabet a right so in this case i pass in 16 i mean that's of you know for sure a value greater than the number of characters that are there after the alphabet A. So I'll save the file and uh, actually I won't have to refresh it because I haven't made any changes. We see a nice day in the output, right? So that's about the uh, substring, the str underscore repeat, replace and string length functions. And all these functions are really important. In the next tutorial, we're gonna check out more string functions and probably going to wrap up our discussion on strings. And uh, I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Till then, take care.